Well, good afternoon, class. Good afternoon. How was your recess? Was it fun? Good. I didn't have enough. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'll never have enough of recess. Today we're going to continue on our lesson about planets and science. Today we're talking about typhoon. Does anyone have any idea what typhoon is? Have you experienced one before? It happens a lot in the Philippines. Yes, it does happen in a lot of Philippines. What about, have you heard about hurricanes? Yeah, yes. it happens a lot here. Yeah, it happens a lot here, right? I love so, to a hurricane. Oh, okay. So, have you ever experienced cyclones then? Yeah, I did. You have? Oh, okay. I feel like a tornado. They're actually all very similar, right? Let's go to the next slide and look at these pictures. Do you see any difference between them? No. Can you tell which one is typhoon, which one is cyclone, which one is a hurricane? I know that the hurricane has a middle. Like an eye. Yes, Michaela. Um, so I think that one's a hurricane mm -hmm. because it's just kind of all crazy. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I think the middle one's a typhoon. Okay. Because I don't know what a typhoon is yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the one on the right is a cyclone because it's over the water. You're very close because you got the last one right. Okay, <laughs> 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 let's do an opening activity to, just to start with how to um, distinguish between hurricane, cyclone, and typhoons. Okay, so actually I'll just give you this folder with pictures and a map inside. And I want you to and I want you to put these little pictures on top of these maps. So it's where they like where they belong. They're like actually like little maps from some like part of the world, so I want you to put them on there. You can use your electronic devices if you need help. Oh. 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 Oh.
find anything out about those patterns? So the ones in by Florida are hurricanes, but then everywhere else oh, yeah. in the world were either typhoons or cyclones. Yes. Okay. Does hurricane the American word for it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Actually, they are um, they have different names according to where they are from. They start at. So So the main outcomes for or the objective or the outcome for this class is to distinguish, for us to distinguish between typhoon, hurricane, and cyclone, and listing and by listing one critical attribute and three non-critical attributes. Um, so what are typhoon, hurricane, and cyclone? They're actually just simply different names for tropical storms. They're actually all the same thing. So every one of them would have an I if the part rings. They're all crazy. Every every one of them are crazy. They um, occur because of some blowing um, pressure, wind system, and everything. Um, so they're just referred to in different names depending on their size, intensity, and location. And tropical storms are a localized, very intense, low-pressure wind system forming over tropical oceans and with winds of hurricane force. So every one of them are actually, they actually have the same definition. So, I do found out in the little activity we just did, um, typhoons are the ones near, the, around the um, Pacific Ocean. So it, and typhoons go from the Pacific Oceans to the Asian area or around the areas of like for Malaysia and Singapore are. And cyclones are the ones that goes around around mm -hmm. the area near um, mm -hmm. Australia, the Indian Ocean. Yeah. Is that comes to Tonga or the Pacific Island? Tonga's around um, here, right? Like, I don't know. I think it's yeah. around yeah, this it's area. Around there. So it's more like a hurricane. Hurricanes. Yeah, that's why um, when we're in Hawaii, sometimes we um, we see some hurricanes around in Hawaii too, but they are actually hurricanes, although it's like in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. They're actually hurricanes because it's in the this area. So how do tropical storms form? We're going to look, watch this little clip to just give you an idea. And I hope it works. There's no doubt about it that tropical storms provide some of nature's most impressive natural phenomena, especially destructive, of course, when they intensify into the state of big typhoons or hurricanes. But there are certain key ingredients required for the formation of tropical storms, primary of which is sea surface temperatures of at least 26 Celsius. We need a cluster of thunderstorms, we need the spin of the earth to be involved, and we need light wind shear, that's to say, light winds way up in the atmosphere. Now, first, the sea surface temperatures above 26 Celsius, that only happens in tropical regions of the world. Then we need that cluster of thunderstorms. They can be quite disparate at first, but they organize themselves into a bigger storm system. They get together, and then the Earth's rotation generates that spin, and the, the storm system starts to revolve in this direction. And then, of course, we need the factor that the winds are off, the wind shear, is not too strong, because if the winds were too strong, it would rip the storm apart. Mm -hmm. So these winds then carry the storm system in a certain direction, breeding off those high sea surface temperatures and intensifying the storm further and further. What does that mean? Well, of course, the effects of a tropical storm, a typhoon, a hurricane, extremely strong winds around the core, the eye of the storm, colossal amounts of rain, and huge, huge, potentially 
destructive ways. Did you learn from this um, video? Um, what were the key points for um, for the formation of the, of the storms? Um, temperature. Temperature. The waters. The water surface. The wind. The wind. Yes. And the cluster of thunderstorms. Mm -hmm. And the Earth's rotation. Yes. So have you actually heard of any hurricanes that are um, that goes up to England or up to the European European area? No. No. Can you can you guess why? Because the land ocean is colder. Yes. So as the narrators for the commentator um, in that video said, um, storms can only um, form around in this area where the water temperature goes up to 16 and 26 degrees Celsius. Has, the water must be warm in order for that to happen. Therefore, they can't happen in the northern area or the south, really southern area. So how tropical storms are formed? So just some more information from the video. So first of all, um, high humidity and ocean temperatures of over 26 degrees Celsius are major contributing factors as we just discussed. And when the water goes up to 26 degrees or more, the water will start evaporating, well of course, some, some parts of the surface area will go hot outside they will evaporate. And then when and then when the water evaporates, of course it's the air is warm. But then there will be a mass of cold air that will hit that warm air and form some clouds. And then a column of low pressure will develop in the center, and that is often called the eye, where you can actually see that little dot in the middle of that great hurricane pictures. And, and then the winds will form around the column, circulating. And then as pressure um, in the eye weakens, the speed of the wind around it increases. So that's why, since the um, speed in the eye part is weak, that's why you can actually see through them. And um, you know, sometimes when you're actually, um, I've experienced this once, but when I lived in Japan, one time um, we had a typhoon that came around to our house, and it was, it wasn't huge, but it was still um, big enough that it was like shaking the house and everything. But all of a sudden, it was shaking, my house was shaking really bad because it was an old house, but all of a sudden it went really quiet. Can you guess why? Yes, I was, um, the eye was right in front of our house, so the wind basically stopped. So we were in the middle of the typhoon, so the wind was like really calm and weak. Wow. Mm -hmm. So why are you saying in the middle, like in the eye of a typhoon, there's nothing happening there? Only when the one outside where the, mm -hmm. the pressures of the wind is like, you know, swirling. Yeah. Very much. That's the part that they are like destroying things. Yeah, yeah basically. Oh, okay. Yeah, but then, but then make sure you don't run into them just to be in the safe area because you'll probably get like blown away when you actually get close to it. So unless it, that typhoon or that storm is a small one, don't try to run into it to test that it's you know there's no like wind in the eye area. Yeah, be so careful. <laughs> When I was younger and there was the Hurricane Yankee mm -hmm. here, I, I remember it. And when the eye passed over the island, mm -hmm. um, we all walked outside. Oh. And it was just like a beautiful blue sky day. And But then all of the telephone poles were down. And it was, it was really calm, like nothing mm -hmm. was happening. But then after like an hour, yeah, so it had to, it starts again. And you go through the second half of the whole thing. Yeah, that happens. It's it's very nice to go So how do we classify these tropical storms into hurricanes, or typhoons, or cyclones? So the
classification of tropical storms are done through their Beaufort scale and one minute sustained winds and um, the location of the tropical storm. So the Beaufort scale is um, assessed, of, assessed with the one minute sustained wind, so how fast the wind is around it. Um, so there's, a from, there's from 1 to 12 in the Beaufort scale. So 1 is basically like nothing. And then 12 is the most intense um, so, um, storms. So we call typhoons or cyclones or hurricanes when the class, um, when that scale goes up to 12. If it's more than 12, then that's when we call it hurricane or typhoon or cyclone. Other than that, we just call it tropical storms or snow storms. Okay. So typhoons. First of all, we'll start with typhoons because this is the main part of this lesson. Typhoons. They are the tropical storms that form over the Pacific Ocean. And they're called typhoons when they're 12 or more on the Beaufort scale. So these are the ones that come around Japan, Korea, China, or the Malaysia, Singapore. Actually, I'm not sure about Singapore or Malaysia. It's kind of... What about the Philippines? Yes, Philippines, definitely. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, Philippines, I, do you remember, I think it was called Typhoon Yolanda that came across. Philippines before. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's really bad. Mm -hmm. And hurricanes. So hurricanes are the tropical storms that form over the North Atlantic Ocean. It's around um, U.S. Basically, around the U.S. or the South and North um, American. And then they are called hurricanes when they're, of course, above 12 um, on the three four scale. And cyclones, they are the tropical storms that form over the Indian Ocean. They're called cyclones when they're 12 or above on the before scale. They're the ones that goes around um, Australia, New Zealand, and that area, or sometimes like India. So now that we've learned some stuff about typhoons and other tropical storms, you can tell me what makes a typhoon typhoon? Twelve more. Okay. Do you think that actually decides if it's a typhoon or because can um are cyclones and hurricanes above the twelve above twelve on the scale? Mm -hmm. So that goes that actually goes to the non-critical attributes, which means um, it is attribute of that. Um, object, but it doesn't necessarily um, determine if it's um, a type of or not. So, so. Um, more um, critical attributes because typhoons, as I've um, mentioned before, it's actually basically the same thing with um, cyclones and hurricanes. Are there any more attributes of, um, this, of like, all the tropical storms?
Yes, we'll call this gig and move on. Okay. Next. So we're actually going to see if you can tell which one is which. So let's just do a little quiz. So which um, which storm is this? You can tell. Like um, when you're done, you can just go to recess. Awesome. Yay! 